Uh, remains positive on equities, though, favoring information technology, communication services, consumer discretionary, industrials, financials, Oppenheimer. We were just talking about them. Asset management chief, investment strategist John Stoltz was here with a target of 5,500. Happy Friday, John. Good to hey. have you back. Same to you, Carl. Um, be here. What do you think prevents the Fed from cutting? I think it, it, it's just the stickiness of inflation and a concern by Jerome Powell that he doesn't want to cut rates and then have to go back and raise them uh, again. I think the, the big thing is, you know, the Fed has now, since March of 22, has raised rates 11 times, paused eight times without a recession. That's really quite an accomplishment. It's helped, of course, by the resilience in, in labor and other things, you know, and, and, and in business uh, uh, and in job growth. But at the same time, the Fed, we believe, has done a really good job and they don't want to ruin it. Would you agree that the, the market is trying to call his bluff? Oh, you bet. The market, the market represents many different constituencies, and in particular, uh, the highly leveraged crowd has been really hurt by the higher rates. You go from a band of zero to zero point two five to five and a quarter to five and a half percent on the, uh, the the benchmark rate. That creates uh, the vig is a lot more costly carry cost, it's all problematic. And so when we look at that, you, that's an argument that occurs. But overall, you know, it's not a bad situation when bond issuers have to pay for the privilege of borrowing money and people, when they, when they build their models, have to think a little more responsibly than they may have when money was for free. We're just about, we're at your S&P price target. So how are you feeling? Do you feel like there's a need to push that higher at this point? Uh, Melissa, I, I, I think uh, we, we certainly, once once the market closes at 5,500 or above that on any given day, that's when we'll, we'll review it. And it would seem now that we are still in very much in a bull market that is supported both by fundamentals uh, on a cyclical basis, as well as secular growth stories that are impacting this. The other side of this is, too, I think the general population today is more concerned with retirement planning in realization that Social Security might not be anywhere near what it is meant for people. So whether a younger generation is planning for retirement years and years ahead, people who just have retirement a few years ahead, or those who are in retirement who want to retain their, their standard of living, for a lifetime that might be a lot longer than they ever expected. Equities is, 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 is a solution. Past performance, no guarantee of future results. Yeah, although I guess the question is, if in fact you have a greater propensity of people to buy more stocks, hold more stocks, or keep their exposures high, I mean, is there no cost on the back end in terms of return, right? I mean, that's oh. the... Uh, that's, you know, the, that's the issue. It, you're it, paying today's price. Yep, you're, you're, you're paying today's price for people who were in earlier, for instance. It, if they add more, it increases their cost basis somewhat. But for, uh, for those who are new to it, of course, the cost basis is going to be higher going in. Yeah. Uh, but that said, uh, AI innovation, other innovation that is in what we would call the proxies of AI, the other sectors that will benefit with greater efficiencies, hopefully from AI, would give us uh, prospects for Im Im improved productivity, uh, improved efficiencies in terms of all kinds of delivery of products and services that may take us to a, a really fairly good position going ahead. Some of the sectors you like would ostensibly benefit from a rate cut. Right? Okay. Why do you still like them in, in light of your well, Fed view? That they haven't done so badly uh, in, in consideration of, of the Fed view. The Fed, the Fed has uh, remarkably, uh, uh, only of, of the ones that we like, only consumer discretionary has really lagged. And then within consumer discretionary, if we just look at first quarter earnings uh, season that just ended, there were a lot of consumer discretionary, consumer discretionary stocks that did very well even though many of their peers did not. It was a question of management, management, and, uh, and, uh, and, and how they, uh, and, and what type of products they had. But do you think industrials hold up even if the market yeah. comes, to, comes to realist view about, about cuts? I, I, I think, and, well, I think the market has come much closer to being realistic views about cuts. Remember at the beginning of this year, we were in the camp of, we thought that the Fed would probably uh, cut rates only twice. The general market was looking three to five, and there were some. I even heard somebody oh, say yeah. five to eleven because they thought we were going into a recession. We look at it and we think 
you know, this is manageable. If, if you go back all the way 500 years to the Venetians, that's when they <laughs> discovered that a 10 year yield should be whether it was whether it was sheep or cattle or coffee or pepper. The VIG was around uh, somewhere between three and a half to four and a half percent. And people survived it. Wow. Although I was just going to say, I mean, in terms of what you if you take the Fed on its word based on its framework, where it thinks inflation's going, the fact that we've had a yield curve inverted for two years, um, it seems like they are looking for the opportunity to what they call normalize, even if inflation is not at the target yet. Oh, they sure are, uh, Mike, very much so. And if anything, we think that if they do uh, give us a cut in November after the election or in December or both times, it'll be effectively uh, sort of like a down payment for both Main Street and Wall Street to say cuts are coming. Don't get too excited now. But, you know, we're not going to be living at this band of five and a quarter to five and a half. Maybe it'll look like, uh, I don't know, five to five and a quarter what, what have you, but it's, it, it's, it, it's, we're really normalizing after almost 15 years of most of that period in that band of zero to 0 0.25.